What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the 30th jailbreak update video. And this episode is gonna be all about iOS 10.3.2 and the upcoming Pangu jailbreak. So as expected, Apple released the final public version of iOS 10.3.2 today. And of course, now is when all the questions start pouring in here on Twitter, on all my social media, and especially in the comments section on YouTube. So I hope this video helps clear some things up right away for you guys. So first of all, do not update to iOS 10.3.2, I repeat, do not update to iOS 10.3.2 just yet. It's still way too early. And you know, this only goes for people that are interested in jailbreaking. Now, if you're not interested in jailbreaking, go ahead and update to 10.3.2. You know, it fixes a lot of bugs and security issues and things like that. But of course, if you are interested in jailbreaking, which most of you are, if you clicked on this video, do not update to 10.3.2 just yet. iOS 10.3.2 could very well be the last iOS release until iOS 11. So that means it's gonna be signed. It's gonna continue being signed for a long time. And aside from that, there's really nothing enticing about iOS 10.3.2, especially if you're coming from 10.3.1, there's really nothing changed at all. Just some minor bug fixes and security fixes, that's it. You're not gonna get any new emojis or anything like that, so it's really pointless to upgrade to 10.3.2 regardless. Now the next biggest question is, should I update from iOS 10.2.1 or iOS 10.3 up to 10.3.1 right now? Now this one is extremely tough to answer, but if I had to say an answer right now, my answer would be no. I would still continue to wait, at least for now. I would just at least wait a couple more days because according to my research, again, I did that spreadsheet, spent hours on that spreadsheet, going back in history and seeing what Apple has done with these iOS releases. And according to that research, Apple has never stopped signing an iOS version before seven days after the next version gets released. So if that holds true, that means we're gonna have at least until next Monday to update to 10.3.1, and it could even be longer than that. So there's no reason to make a quick decision right now. Just sleep on it and just wait. I'm gonna have another jailbreak update video coming later this week that's gonna to touch on this a little bit more and what I think you should do. So I would at least wait a couple more days if you are on 10.2.1 or iOS 10.3 or even 10.2 on the iPhone 7. Now, if you're already jailbroken on the mock portal or the yellow jailbreak on 10.1.1 or 10.2, I would obviously not update at all because you are jailbroken, you know, just you don't take that for granted. You're still jailbroken while a lot of people are not jailbroken. So I would not take that for granted. I would definitely not update just yet. Now, another question I'm getting a ton on Twitter. I'm not sure where this originated from or where this information came from, but I've had so many people ask me, where's the jailbreak? You know, iOS 10.3.2 got released. Where's the jailbreak? Where's Pengu's jailbreak? And I'm not sure where that whole uh, rumor came from because I never heard anybody talk about a jailbreak coming immediately after 10.3.2. I even said in my previous videos that you shouldn't expect a jailbreak to get released right when 10.3.2 drops. As I've said before, Pengu will most likely give us a heads up before they actually release this jailbreak, just like they did for the iOS 9.3 jailbreak. They basically just gave us a heads up on Twitter that they're gonna be releasing this and then they released it. Now that's not a given. They may or may not do that on Weibo or Twitter. And even if they don't give us a heads up, beforehand I still can't imagine them releasing the jailbreak the day of an iOS release I don't think they've ever done that and I can't see it happening here so of course with the release of iOS 10.3.2 Apple did show its security notes so it basically shows all of the security fixes in 10.3.2 and I'm gonna leave a link in the description if you want to read through this but if you take a look at all of these patches here these security fixes you're gonna notice that Pengu if you read through them you're gonna notice that Pengu was not credited with any of these fixes so what does that mean well that means that Pengu did not report any of the bugs that they found for this 10.3.1 jailbreak that they demonstrated on the uh, Janus conference a couple weeks ago. They did not report any of those bugs to Apple to patch them. So yes, that is good news for people that are hoping for a jailbreak because that gives us a good indication that they're not working with Apple on this. Now don't jump the gun there. Don't think that this means that we're automatically gonna be getting a jailbreak soon and that it's 100% guaranteed because still, it is not guaranteed. This is just a good sign. Now one bug fix that really stood out to me on this list was the kernel bug that was found by Ian Beer of Google's Project Zero. It shows here that the impact of this bug is that it allows an iOS device to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges, which of course is vital for a jailbreak. And if you remember, this is how the iOS 10 jailbreak originated. Google's Project Zero posted the bugs for iOS 10.1.1 on their blog publicly, Luca took those bugs and created the Yalu and Mock Portal jailbreaks. So it's a possibility that the same thing could happen with 10.3. You know, when they post these publicly on their blog, if they do post them, somebody could potentially take those and make a jailbreak out of it and release it to everybody. Now that's not very likely. I would not put very much faith in that, but that is still another possibility if Pengu does not release a jailbreak. Now, since Pengu did not report any of these bugs to Apple, that gives even more validity to my claim and my prediction last week, where I said in last week's episode and on Twitter, where I said that I predict that this uh, Pengu 
jailbreak is going to work for iOS 10.3, 10.3.1, and 10.3.2. And I gave a very detailed reason of why I believe it would work for 10.3.2 in that video. So make sure you go back and watch that video, episode 29, if you haven't already. I kind of explain it in that video. So yeah, I didn't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and let you guys know that 10.3.2 was released and that you should not be updating just yet. And I, I'm going to have another video coming later this week. And of course, the live stream on Saturday to talk a lot more about this and what you should do, give you guys some advice. And again, I need to keep saying this because some people still don't understand. Pengu did not officially say that they're going to be releasing this jailbreak. They never claimed that they're going to release this jailbreak. They just simply showed it off at a private conference that they held in China. Now, it's okay to get excited. I'm excited myself, but we just need to kind of contain that excitement a little bit and just keep it real with ourselves and tell ourselves that, you know, there's a possibility of this not getting released. But again, as this week goes on, we may find out a little bit more about Pengu's plans, and I'm going to be making another video again to keep you guys updated with some updated information as the week goes on. So, of course, make sure you're subscribed and have the notifications turned on for that video. But anyways, guys, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe for a lot more of these jokes break update videos. Again, I do them every single week. So thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you soon.